Hello everybody and welcome back to my LP. It has just started to rain. Good, so now that the rain has gone, uh, I am going to do scrap box of the day very early to this episode because I don't want to get into the whole mechanicalization of making all the stuff because I want this episode to be based around magic. So let's see what we get. Is that like a new feature? What? <laughs> uh, okay, so we got a copper ore. That's kind of cool. That's kind of weird. I open the scrap box and boom, instantly lightning. No idea what that was. Okay. Anyway, uh, so in today's episode I want to play around magic a bit and um, the reason why is because I haven't really touched on any of it plus I haven't touched on any adventure type things I've planned to go on like Chopcraft. Would you shut up with the lightning? Uh, so to start off with all the magic mods I want to first of all create... This is just annoying. Um, I want to first of all create um, some books. So the first thing I need to create is a link book and a descriptive book. And you create them like that. And um, for anyone who knows, really, <laughs> anyone who knows Mistcraft, you know that you start off with age 50. But I've actually tried to record this episode three times. Uh, so uh, we're in age 77. And um, you also, well you don't need this, but it's handy to have a link book stand because when you use a link book, you pretty much drop it on the ground and it can then despawn, so that's not what you want. So, put a link book stand down. And the reason why you have the link book is, is so that you get back to your home world and I'll actually spawn back right here because this is where I created it. Although, um, the problem with uh, uh, Miscraft is that uh, there tends to be a very small issue uh, that if you land in a world and you forget to create a link book there's not really any way back apart from going through a fissure so what I'm going to do is just for like safe purposes I'm going to save a copy of a link book so that I always will have one um, although I'm never like really use it unless it's a, an emergency so there we go, and plus if I do ever have to use one, I'll probably just go and make the resources and chuck it away like uh, last episode with the uh, teleport tether. So let's get everything back in order, and we'll head over to this world and see what's there. And it's pretty much what the link book stand anyway does, it just keeps it all nice and neat. And uh, this first world here is a world that I want to make as a, a room for all my different uh, portals to go through where all the different worlds are so that's the main idea there are some also issues with um like somehow the world can crash with thumbcraft and things like that and it can leave you at your spawn with um no items but straight away i go here and it seems to work well um so this is quite an interesting world actually it appears do you have some very cool looking trees um, actually, I quite like this. Uh, let's give it a moment to render everything out. What am I on right now? Yeah, everything's good. So, wow, that looks cool, actually. Um, I wonder if this is a everlasting snow biome, because... Oh, like, I mean, I, I don't really see any other type of biome. And... It's quite cool. Also, I'm wondering, is it a flatland... No, it's not flat land, but obviously, but like it's like seems to be very flat, mostly made of water and ice and plenty of uh, trees, which are very cool. Um, you can get a lot of very cool looking uh, things in like with Miscraft. Like um, you first of all you can get the standard world spawns around you, like sort of similar to this, but then you have huge terrain features like these, or you can get um another thing which I quite like, which are kind of like wooden tentacles, which uh squirt out of the ground and spin around like crazy they're probably my favorite thing but i quite like this world actually i might keep it this is definitely a world that i would like to to use more often uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my link book stand uh, down here 
and oop, I'm gonna put my link book here, and that goes to the overworld, so I can just easily teleport there and back. And uh, okay, so I spawn right here. So what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna move my link book um to that area there, so I can easily just pop back whenever I want. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put it. Uh, well, for now, I guess I might as well just put it directly in front of me. So now I, I just go boom and boom, and there we go. And so yeah, this looks like a good place, and I will be using that world probably for um, like a link to all my other worlds. Oh great, the lightning's still here. <laughs> I sort of preferred the other world. Although, uh, one item that I need to make right now is a. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. Uh, so, what we're going to do is going to look for it. There it is, there. A writing desk, that's it there. And we need these resources. Um, and I have all those except for the ink sack, I think. I think I may be a bit low on an ink sack. Let's just double check very quickly. No, I know I've got an ink sack. Okay, it's fine. And then I also need the wood. Where's all my wood? Oh, I have wood, don't I? Wow, I'm really behind on resources. Well, not really, I just never really used one. Hmm. Awkward. I can make another bag, though. That's cool. Well, no, I should die in the bag. Um, okay, let's get some wood very quickly. I was assuming that I had wood. What is up with the lightning? I mean, it's cool, but it's annoying when you're trying to record. Although it's probably just self-conscious, because you guys can probably hear it. It's very close. There we go. There we go. Oh, and if you're wondering, am I... Um, settings are reset by the way if you're wondering how I got that because uh, every time you like mess around with the jar it just like completely resets your achievements okay let's get back there we go okay so a uh, writing desk I can now make let's go ahead and make one of them and I guess um. I kind of want to do it in my miscraft world, but for now, I guess I'll put it there. I'm going to sleep. Hopefully, that will get it rid of the rain and lightning. Got my sword out just in case, or chainsaw. Okay, yeah. That's got rid of the rain. Hopefully, the lightning will go with it, uh, no matter how cool it is. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, so what I want to do is not that, I pressed the wrong button there. Uh, what I need to do is I need to break this here and I need to go into here and I need to put my descriptive book down. And here it will tell me all the traits that it has learned. So for example it's got checkered board biomes. Really? Oh it's checkered board Tanga Hills and Frozen Ocean. I did not see that. That was, that was quite discreet. That most checkerboard biomes you like, can see from a mile off. So it's got strongholds, huge trees, uh, starfishers. Okay, so I can get back in that with starfishers. Mine shafts, uh, standard lighting, slow time, that would be nice. Um, standard terrain and normal sunset colours. I quite like that world actually. Uh, let's call it, um, what should we call it? Portal world, I guess. That sounds like a good name. So we've now named that Portal World. And um, I just want to go back and check. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm not using uh, one of these for it, is because I kind of want to keep the magic stuff magical. And I want to keep the mechanical stuff mechanical. So that's sort of why I'm using books to get around for all my magic stuff. So um, let's check. Is this actually Tanga? The best way of checking, or checkered board. Yeah, it is checkerboard. If you if you look, it is kind of it's got slight sort of checkerboardness. 
Although it's not that obvious. It's quite discreet. Most checkerboard things you can see from a mile off. That's really discreet checkerboard. Um, but no, I guess you can kind of see the bits where the snow is not on. That's really discreet. Anyway. Uh, so, what I need to do now is make up a, a notebook. And a notebook is made from paper. Uh, which I do not have, but if I head into my handy dandy sugarcane farm, which is trapped a uh, wisp. Let's kill this guy. There we go. Got a crack shell from that, and that'll be handy for later. But if we get some handy dandy notebook, a reads even, and then we can uh, put a 9 by 9 paper. Uh, like, you know, if we get paper and then put them all in the crafting table, similar to like an art and block, you get a notebook. And let's create one of those. And uh, pretty much what a notebook can do is it can learn traits of other worlds. So uh, if I put the notebook in here, and I did it again. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> I always, for some reason, click it. If I break this, and then put this back in here, it will actually allow me to learn the traits then I can add them to my own custom world which I will be doing later but I might keep this one just for now in the portal world because it was very very cool I really like that one so there we go did not mean to do that put it like that that's better and it's right there so there we go portal world and boom we're in it and it's quite dark but what I want to do uh, here is I want to create the different portals so uh, let's do that and uh, by portals I mean like more, pretty much more books uh, that's sort of all I meant by portals but it should be cool anyway so I'm trying to look around this again it's kind of a very cool world um, but the time is very slow on it, so I'm going to have to be careful about that. Uh, so let's get building this, and I'm just going to go ahead and build the room straight off, and um, I will meet you then. So there we go, we've got the room pretty much built, and um, for now I've just put my um, extra two legs here, but in the future I will... Uh, obviously add to them as uh, I go through them so uh, what I need to do now is make a bunch more of these uh, descriptive books here and then pretty much t um, like explore the worlds and try and get a range of different worlds to pretty much play through and then I will um, go ahead and select the worlds that I want to do by myself by uh, creating them randomly obviously so I'm just going to go through each world that I just created there and I'm going to see what it's like so let's get going yeah okay so this first one appears to have a uh, red fog color I'm guessing that's low-lying clouds and it appears to be a flat tangle on them am I right is that not? Tanga Hills it's very hilly <laughs> a flat hill land and um, yeah I really like the low line cloud effect actually I think it looks kinda cool it'd be annoying after a while but it's kinda cool you know it's kinda like old school minecraft Um, so it's all cool okay let's move on cool so now that I've got 99 let's move on to 100 and um, I'm probably going to experience at least one crash I'd say throughout this uh, so I have saved my uh, block files or whatever you want to call them inventory files that would make sense I don't know why I would call it a block file uh, but yeah this one's taking a while to load so either this one is a glitched one or it's a very intensive one yeah no it did manage to spawn and um, this is actually a cave world and that pretty much means the entire world is based around Kiev and if you look at the map up at the top here there is actually a flat land above it but um, we've just spawned in the undermining cave section um, which is very memory intensive that's what it took a while to load up I think um, 
although it is quite cool. It's very handy for resources because everything's like really lie lowing and flat and you can see pretty much anything anywhere and it's it's pretty cool. There's me. Yay. It's very cool actually. Let's head over here just for a second just to explore a little bit. Um this is not the best one in the world to be honest because um simply of the fact that there's a lot of gla or grass lying around. There are a lot better cave worlds that you can get, um, but there's a lot of marble. I mean, it's actually sometimes unbelievable how much marble you can get in the game. Um, let's try and find a good area, though. Oops, did not mean to go through the portal. Oh, for a second I thought I was going to die there. Let's uh, jump down here. There we go. Anything around here? Oh, there's a better dungeons thing. That's kind of cool. Yeah, okay, so there's not loads of stuff here, so let's just head back, I guess. Boop, and uh, link book time. <coughs> and boom. And then I head back in here, obviously. And now I, I can get rid of these ones. Um, but by get rid of them, I don't mean like destroy them, but you know, just hide them. So. I learn all that stuff and age 100 I learn all that stuff and I'm just gonna name these um, used 99 just so I know I've used it and used 100 and uh, that should be cool now let's move on to the next couple so get these out and let's head in here yep it just happened there Um, I had a crash and I lost all my items so I spawned them back in and um, I actually turned out I lost my books so I had to create some new books well spawn in new books it's not really cheating again because it's not like I waste the books, um, but it should be good. Uh, so, this book here, 96, it's not a nice book. So, we're just going to get rid of that one. And we're going to put these back down. And where's 96? Uh, put that there so we know it's a bad one. Okay. Uh, so, let's try out 97. And actually, while we're just here, let's. Uh, completely resave our file again just in case that happens so we don't need to spawn in any more of the books 97 okay this one looks good and if you don't really know what I'm doing here I'm just trying to get loads of different worlds and different traits for the different worlds so that I can use on my own worlds that I'll make myself so this one appears to be a flat land um, another low lying cloud and it's uh, some sort of forest biome. Let's check. Yeah, forest hills. It's quite laggy here, actually, surprisingly. Maybe it's. Oh, I bet you. I bet you it's a cave biome. That's. Um, it's like just underground. I'm just gonna put a portal spawn right here. Bet you anything, it's a cave. Don't want to do that. Let's see. Oh, well, it may not be. I know she never dig down. No, I don't think it is actually. Okay, that's kind of weird. You would think it would be. Uh, but let's head back once more and uh, try out that other book. Oh, of course, yeah, because I created them here so they would all spawn back here. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it should be fine though. Let's go back. And uh, so we did that one. And that was a kind of a good one. So let's do 97. Uh, used. There we 
go. So we're getting plenty of uh, different things now and everything's starting to fill up slowly which is nice. We got fast eternal day which is great and slow time. Uh, someone actually told me I should set up a solar panel farm in an eternal day and I thought that was kind of cool. So I might do something like that. Uh, let's try this 118 one. Hopefully no crashes. Uh, the crash thing is really annoying but it only happens in new worlds so luckily if you have a world already uh, you won't get a crash. Also you have to be aware for corruption because corruption is a thing that can occur. Okay, I bet you anything this is definitely this is definitely a cave one. Okay, it's probably not. It just it just it just looks like one. Okay, I find it's not. Okay, let's just do this the quick way. Nope, that's not the quick way. Okay, yeah, this is not working <laughs> at all. Ow, that hurt. So did that. Oh, I was close. Okay, how am I gonna get out of this? Okay, I guess I'll just have to do it the old fashioned digging up way. I don't know why I didn't do that originally. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a an alright world. Really? Really? Died twice in the last second because of this. From now on, this is not going to be done. This is dangerous. Okay. Oh, it's mushroom biome as well. That's cool. Okay. And let's head back. And this is going to take a while, so I'm just going to go through them all one by one very quickly for you guys. Okay, just to speed the process up of just placing them all down, that'll be a lot quicker. So, age 22, let's have a look at it. Yep, it crashed. So, let's uh, get our items back. Um, I have to throw away all these ones, obviously. And uh, I'll make sure I don't reuse any link books. Uh, okay, and um, so we know that one does not work. Uh, so, next book. 124. Nope. This is just great, isn't it? Oh, I left cheat mode on, sorry about that. Um, yeah, getting a lot of crashes. It It's a lot, like, right now, because I literally am using, like, all the books I can. Um, but it's, it's going to be a lot less when I... Um, finally have everything I want done because I will have all the books complete and then I can just you know do whatever okay next one 23 one two three even this one does not look like a crash because it's already half complete so it should be good this might be the first actual good one yes it is a uh, first good one in a while and it appears to be a Skylands one. Oh, these ones are crazy these ones are actually crazy. They just look epic. Um, they're Skylands. I love these ones. Um, appears to be some ice stuff lying around. You get a lot of better dungeon things uh, lying around in the sky ones because you can see them from like a mile off. Um, although they're very cool. Oh, I love these ones. Whoa, I could have. That could have ended up very badly. <laughs> I had a brief moment of lag there. Could have ended up very badly. Uh, oof, it's doing it again. There's some better dungeon stuff over there. You can just about see the spawners. It's crazy. You wouldn't think there'd be that much lag in this one because it's so empty, but there actually is quite a lot. Anyway, let's uh, head back to the overworld and check out the next book. But I really like this one. Also, you can see loads of ores like just there. You probably can't though, but I can. One, two, five. Let's check it out. Hmm. This looks good. Um. 
That's a lot of obelisks. Not gonna lie. Uh, I think this is one of the miscraft glitches where it tends to like spawn like tons upon tons of um like rare things like obelisks. Um literally just for infinity. Uh, so I'm probably not going to use those because it's just, it feels like cheating doing that, you know, because it's just literally an infinite span of them. Uh, so I could theoretically legitly do it because I didn't use cheats to get it really, but it feels like cheating so I'm not going to use them probably. Um, you know, I, I might do one or two um, just because they're kind of cool, but I, I, I don't want to do tons of them because, I mean, literally look at it, it spawns forever. It's like infinite both ways. It's crazy. Anyway, let's head back. And finally, the last one. One, two, one. This one seems to be good. Uh, so we've got a, a decent amount of cool things I quite liked here. Here we go. Oh, cool. Green fog. That looks nice. Um, I haven't seen any of the wooden tentacles. I think that's what they're called. I'm not entirely sure, but I think they're called wooden tentacles. I could be wrong, though. But... Um, is this one checkered board biome? I think this one maybe. Let's have a look at the mini map again. Oh well, no, it's not. No, it's just an infinite span. It's just because I saw the chunks without any snow on them. Thought that may be an infinite or a checkerboard biome, but this may be an infinite spanning tanga biome. Uh, that probably is what it is, with obviously green fog and stuff like that. Anyway, let's uh, head back one more time, and uh, we'll learn all the traits from these books. And then I'm going to make my own Thomcraft world. And then I'm probably going to end the episode up there. Um, just because it's been getting quite long. And I've just done mostly talkie this episode. But that's fine. It's cool. Talkie's good. Um, I should also mention just while I'm doing this. Um, I saw a really cool mod actually. Because I was um, needing to install the timber mod for a reason which you guys may find out quite soon. Um, but uh, I found out that uh, the guy who created the timber mod created this um, other mod that uh, allows you to convert all the different power types from all the different uh, technical mods. So I might install that next time I do a technical episode, which will be probably quite soon. Anyway, so what I need to do is get another descriptive book, and uh, what I want to do is name it Thomcraft World. And since I've never visited the world yet, it's got no traits. So, some craft, if I could spell craft with a G, uh, world. And um, that's going to be very long, so I'm just going to call it. Let's call it Thummy World. It's not called Thummy. I always say Thummy, and when I look at it, it just doesn't look right, does it? Thummy. Spelled with an I, just, just for fun. Um, okay. And we need to select the traits now. So let's make it a uh, single biome world. And the biome I want it to be is a mushroom island biome. Because, uh, you know, it's kind of magical. Fog. Uh, let's have Skyland Fog, I guess. Light levels. Uh, standard, obviously. Special terrain features. I guess that's, uh, strongholds would be nice. Normal sunset colors, probably. Uh, just kind of fussy like that. Uh, features, features. Hmm. Uh, let's put some glowing crystals in there, I guess. Uh, terrain formation. Uh, standard terrain, I guess. Terrain modifiers. Okay, I did have those things. Okay, they're not tentacles, they're tentrils, but... Okay, I didn't see any of those. I'll show you some of them then. Um, Skylands I do really like, but it just won't suit for what I had in mind. And obviously I'm going to choose Eternal Day, because that's very cool. So hopefully this is not going to lead to a corrupt world. So I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to put my thummy world there. And uh, let's join this for the first time and see if it works out. Um, there's a chance it may... Uh, be a bit different than what I specified it to be because that can happen, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so it it did give me a a Skyland world, um, which wasn't exactly what I wanted, but actually, 
Uh, now that I see it, it ha it, when it ha with it has all the wooden tetrils or whatever they're called, I can't read as you all know. Um, um, but like I mean, now that I see it, I could use those as paths to some sort of like house type thing. I'm, I'm not quite sure what you would call it. I'm, I want to say tree house, but it's not really in a tree, is it? So it's not really a tree house. But I think that would actually be very cool. So um. Why don't we do that? And I could take over one of the better dungeons and uh, use it for that. Uh, why don't we hop down there with the portal mod? Hopefully, I don't die here. Okay, that's what I'm that's what I was sort of afraid of. Okay, what I'm going to do is there we go. That's what I wanted. And what one's that? That was the yellow one. So I need to remember to fire that one when I want to go back. But I think you can sort of see what I'm talking about when I could use this as my world. It's a bit laggy because it's generating everything out and I almost fell off there, I think. Um, it, it does take a while to generate this world out for some reason. It is quite laggy. But you know what? I might use this as my Thumbcraft world. I think that'll be cool. Um, I'm thinking about that one there would be nice because it's quite flat and open. And it's near the top so I can see everything. Uh, yeah, oh, it's very cool. Tell me what you guys think. Um, I might keep this in my zombie world. Let's head back. And uh, where's the one I selected? Ooh, don't want to do that again. It's actually quite hard to tell now that I've gone back up. Let's head down there for a second. Just for fun. There we go. Um, I can't remember which one I selected. Or I might even do it there, because there's a lot of places to expand there. Mm. Well, I'll see in the future. But anyway, this is sort of all I want to do this episode. So, uh, thanks for watching. And until next time, see ya. You know, I might actually take over this dungeon sometime soon as well. That'd be cool. I can have my base inside of the dungeon. Oh, that'd be awesome. Anyway, see ya.